The SEC is currently in an insane predicament that they didn't expect would happen. The result? The regulatory body will be forced to settle instead of continuing with their lies. I mean, they can lie for so long before everyone understands that the SEC is trying to cover themselves. How many times will this regulatory body continue to lie to the face of the public? Worst of all, they've even gone to the extent of intentionally trying to misdirect the court, falsifying documents and even committing perjury. I get it. Most people will not agree with me when I say that the SEC needs to pay Ripple for their damages and we're probably about to get into a settlement meeting soon. Anyway, before we get to start on that, here's the intro. As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP fam. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Aside from uncovering the SEC's mistakes and showing you why they are about to get into a settlement meeting, we also have other news. XRP has apparently confirmed that it will be a part of Project Jura. Can you believe that? This coin is about to blow up. Trust me when I say this. No one ever thought that XRP will even make it that long. But what is about to happen will take this coin to a whole new level. And that's just the start of it all. This coin is creating partnerships with different influential corporates that will soon solidify the stand of XRP in the whole community, fiat and crypto alike. Quick question, do you think the XRP community needs a celebrity to support it so it can make it to the big leagues? From my perspective, I don't think the success of XRP needs to be pegged to any celebrity. Frankly speaking, most cryptos that rely on celebrity news always sound like pump and dumps, or rather hype coins, if you will. Hi, Doge gang. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now straight to the main event, as settlement meeting is coming sooner than expected. And here's why. Stefan points out a very critical bit of evidence that shows in black and white that the SEC is outrightly lying to the public. In one of their evidences, they point out William Henman's speech as an evidence to support their claim. I mean, what? I honestly don't get these bodies. Are they even trying to hide their lies? Just a few weeks ago, the SEC said that Hinman's words are his personal opinions and shouldn't be used as the views of the regulatory body. The worst part is that Hinman directly uses the word we in references to the organization then. But let's just let that slide for now. My question is, if those are his personal opinions, why would the SEC come in later and use Hinman's personal opinions to defend their court case? So when the case doesn't favor them, it's a personal opinion. However, if those words favors them, it moves up to being the thoughts of the SEC. No wonder it's so easily to catch them in a lie. No matter how hard the regulatory body tries to hide, the truth always comes out. Anyway, here's the reason why I think the SEC is about to go into a settlement meeting with Ripple. After the discovery battle, the SEC and Ripple are both obliged to take time to go into a settlement meeting. And I think everything that has happened thus far was to build up to this meeting. I don't think the SEC wanted to end up in the final verdict. What's more, I don't think they were ready for what has been happening. And their legal team must have advised them that a settlement is the only way. But nobody understood that. Now, if we do the math right, the settlement meeting will happen somewhere in January. I think each party has been trying to build up a strong case so that their voice can be strong at the settlement table. From what we've seen, Ripple seems to have all the cards. Yep, I said it, and I'm not trying to side with Ripple. Just take a moment and look at the hits the SEC has been taking. The SEC has been exposed in so many ways, and it's time for them to finally give up. So what do you think? Will the SEC finally give in and decide to settle with Ripple, or will they continue to put up a fight that will only end up hurting them more? Because to be honest, the whole crypto community is now questioning the intentions of the SEC. Who are they trying to protect anyway? At the start of all this, the SEC was meant to protect the investors, but it seems so that that's no longer the case. Currently, this regulatory body is hellbound on bringing down Ripple no matter the cost. And also, other ideas have come to light. The SEC, for some reason, is giving Ethereum a pass and attacking any rival of the DApps platform. In fact, the only reason why Ripple's case is so controversial is because most people compare it with the Ethereum. Then later, the SEC comes forth to recant their statement saying they never gave Ethereum and Bitcoin a pass. I mean, it's time this regulatory body makes a stand. Because in the process of trying to avoid the consequences of their decision, 
they end up sounding quite shady. What's your opinion on the regulatory body that's meant to protect the investors? Will they really protect XRP investors, or will they continue to hurt them intentionally? Well, all that said, time now to take a look at the technical analysis. Despite the case on XRP, I really don't think it will affect it that much, even if they lose the case, which will never happen. I still believe that there is a big chance for XRP to survive outside the states. They really know the value behind this coin, so they will never let it go to other countries. They need it to help the dollar from sinking. XRP has the cheapest rate to transfer huge amounts in seconds. It's only a matter of time, and it will go up. It can never die. Now on to Bitcoin. It's been in a heavy correction over the last month, but there is still hope for Bitcoin. Now, if we expand our view and take a look at the bigger time frames like the weekly, we can come to an understanding that Bitcoin is in a pretty big ascending triangle. This pattern has not been broken yet by the price, so it means the price can still range in this pattern. As you can see, the price still has room to decrease down to 43,000, and after that, a pullback is expected to happen. Once again, we shall see Bitcoin near $70,000. The next year will be pretty good for Bitcoin because when the breakout happens, the price can increase up to $110,000. If we consider the AB equals CD movement, we can come to the understanding that this prediction is pretty reliable. Since this analysis is in a weekly time frame, the said price is going to take a lot of time to reach $110,000. As always, remember, trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Let us know what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. As always, thank you very much for watching. Couldn't be here without you. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. And hey, be sure to turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we drop our amazing content. Thanks again and we will look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.